Okay, so we're here with Kaylee and Courtney. Yes. Baby babies. Uh-huh. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Film Garage podcast. I'm Sarah and this is Daniel. Hello. I did it differently today. Yeah. I just decided to free They, they knew who we I are. I love it. We're here. <laughs> we're just here today. <laughs> Okay, anyways, though. Anywho, baby take babies. it serious. So, yes. Baby babies. Yes. What do you guys do? What yeah. do you make? What is your business? Okay, so we do a newborn up to six year of baby clothing. We get it wholesale. We don't make it. We get a lot of questions if we make it. And I, I wish we had the patience and the no. artistic That's to make it. That's a whole other job. Yeah. But no, we get it wholesale um, and then we resell it. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, we also do like accessories like kids hats socks. oh yeah yeah we got into mom stuff recently <laughs> we randomly were okay. like let's let's get some mom hats yeah. we got just got some cute mom hats in i like the hot moms hats. oh my gosh those are it's those, a good idea they're a hit yeah everyone loves those so we did we dabbled in a little of mom but it's really just because we're looking for baby stuff and then we're like looking through wholesalers and i'm like oh i want this <laughs> And uh -huh. I'm like, can we get it? Right. And then we just end up buying different stuff for moms. Yeah. And the amount of questions are, that people ask are, are you, can we get this in adult size? Right. And I go, I wish. So we've, we've actually been working towards finding the sourcers to see if they could also do adult sizes. Yeah. But most of them don't. They only, you know, they only do specific sizes, but we did find a go up to what, 12 year and yeah. some styles, but we cut it off about six year. Yeah. It's actually interesting because we find that even our older sizes don't sell as well as our younger sizes. Interesting. But it's crazy because people be like, oh, can we get this in a bigger size? And then I'm like, and then no one buys I'm it. like well, yeah. it doesn't sell. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's hard figuring out, okay, what, what sells, what doesn't, what sizes do we need? That's hard because you have so many different SKUs and oh, sizes. for sure. Like that adds a whole nother yes. thing. Yes. So people just want to know they could buy it if they did want to, but they no, don't they actually want gonna. to. They, no. want, <laughs> they yeah. want the option. They just want to know they could. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. They just want the option. Yeah. So a lot of our stuff we will um, find up to six year so that it is okay. available. The standard sizing. <laughs> for sure. We just sure. don't usually keep it in stock. Yeah. Like if yeah. people are like, oh, can I get one in this size? We're like, yeah. But we rarely keep them stocked up. Like sizes mm. up to two year, we have to have like 10 to 15 For in sure. stock. Two year sells so much. Hmm. Around 12 year to three year, I feel does so well. So anything above that, we... And then even like newborn you stuff, you know, you're getting so many newborn clothes for your shower or whatever you have. I don't it's know. True. I feel that I have more you buy newborn. so much newborn stuff. Yeah. And then everyone's kind of like, oh... Now I need more 12 month or 18 months. So, yeah. So how did you yeah. get started in doing this in general? Okay. So I randomly had this thought, okay. well, I have a 18 month old okay. and I really wanted something more boutique-y, mm -hmm. but not really boutique-y, but you know, higher quality. Something cute. And I didn't want to pay $40 for an outfit that they were going to wear for, you know, half a year. Yeah. So yeah. I text her. Actually, I text my sister group chat. I have three sisters. She's okay. just one of them. Okay. So three I text total or is there four of you? Three total. Four sisters. Three. Four total. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right? There's four of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How many are there? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we have a little brother as well. It's easy so. to forget. It is. I, I know. So I had this thought come to my mind because as a mom, that's what I wanted. I and I've always kind of wanted to do my own thing. I have a lot of like passion and creativity. Okay. And I wanted to put it into something. So I had this idea just randomly came to my mind. I'm like, why don't we start a, almost like a baby boutique, but yeah. we don't make it super expensive. And I go, there's not really anything in this area. I feel yeah. that's very. Well, we'd go shopping together and I'm like, oh, I don't like love anything. <laughs> yeah. Not enough to pay this much money for it. For At, sure. Like boutiques. Yeah. For sure. Not like a Target or something. Or even like going to those stores and I'm like, they're like, just, I don't love any of them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's mind blowing how expensive kids clothes are for yeah. how small they are. Oh my gosh. Like just the amount of fabric. I'm like, shouldn't this be cheaper? Yeah. Yep. But yes. No, it's more. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I told her, I, I, well, I text the group chat and I go, Hey, I want to start a business. Does anyone want to do it with me? <laughs> Cause I, I didn't want to do it alone. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I just, we do everything together pretty much. We're very, yeah. it's easier that way. Family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you could at least sell to each other. Worst case scenario. Yeah, right. <laughs> like, yeah. We, we keep the clothes for you. Like it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so she's the first one who, to respond. She also has a daughter. I do. She's almost 12 months. 12 yeah. months. Yep. So you guys both have weeks. little babies. Yes. Yeah. So we're the only ones who have kids. Oh. 
Okay. Well, so that makes sense. The other sisters, one of yeah. them's in college, the other's in high school. So they, so they're irrelevant. Yeah, for sure. They, yeah. they give their input. They're like, yeah, that's yeah. cute. But it's funny because like a week after, so she, uh, she, we texted and then it was like, bam, bam, bam. We started looking for vendors, I think the next day. Yeah. Good and for then you. our other sister, she, no, she texted like four days into it when we had like ordered <laughs> we everything. already ordered. Yeah, yeah. And she was like, wait, I want to be on in, in on it. And I was like, Oh, we but we had spent like seven hours a day just searching oh, for, for clothes sure. that we liked. And we're like, we're already so far into it. Like, yeah. Where did you start with that? Just the Google search? Or? Oh, yeah. Google search, yeah. wholesale. Um, so we use this app called Fair. It's like a wholesale. Fair. I don't know if you've, hold of, if you've heard of it. I have not. But mm-hmm. it's wholesalers and they sell their product, all different types of brands. Yeah. So like tons They're of all big over brands, the world. Like, um, Dreamland, you know, Binky Bro, Binky Bro from Utah. Hmm. I don't know where they're from. Utah. But um, okay. tons of big brands, even big brands. Like women's, it's not like an Alibaba. Like, no, it's like it's actual like, brands yeah, for and you sure. Can get their stuff. Mm-hmm. So these brands will wholesale their yeah. stuff out to you for. Huh. I'm assuming they mark it up a little bit and then wholesale it to you. So Something. say they got yeah, it for sure. this price and then they are making a tiny bit yeah. and then. And then they'll always state what they sell it to their customer for. Yeah. So say they're going to give it to us for 14, but they sell it to their customers for 22. And what we do is we only upcharge okay. like $5. So then, you know, yeah. they're saving a couple bucks if they were to go to them. Okay. Um, and it's been interesting because some brands don't care how much you mark their stuff to. Mm. And some brands are super picky. Like we don't allow you to to sell our stuff lower than yeah what we yeah. have that. Stay that standard yeah that price. but some of them want. are like we already have our customer base we know they're gonna buy it from us because they love us mm-hmm. you know so mm-hmm. they feel that like they're really solid and they don't mind for sure which is nice hmm. so that's mainly where we get our stuff we just recently started like i told you we started trying to like find sources like and the exact source girl. and then they can add our own tag like our baby oh. tag, and then they can add sizes for mm-hmm. you already. Mm-hmm. And then, okay. Which can't be done if you go through the current vendors Fair. you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, it just comes with their logo on it. So yeah. whatever comes to we decide. not even an option. For sure. Yeah. So whatever company we decide to buy through on there is but kind of what we're selling. Even some of the more boutique stuff, they don't um, have their logo on it or sizes. No sizes. So either. it will be hard because they're international sizes sometimes because they're mm-hmm. getting them internationally so the sizes will say 73 100 so then you kind of have to convert it into what their sizing is mm-hmm. so that's been something we've had to kind of which is where hmm. your tag would really be oh, come yeah. in handy for but sure even sometimes we buy stuff and i'm like okay there's no way like it's nice having kids i'm like there's no way this would fit my kid yeah. and this is her size so it's also hard to like get stuff from people who have big businesses and be like there's no way this is going to work Mm -hmm. like people are going to be like okay this doesn't fit my kid you're going to have to figure out something else so we also have to do a lot of adapting to sizes Mm. like it may say this size but it won't fit yeah we'll have to to, we'll have to make our own size size it off of what fits our child yeah and it's hard because my child's a skinny little thing she's tiny yeah her hers is kind of like a short and (laughs) she's She's a little short skinny kid (laughs) yeah So it's hard because we don't have, we don't have every size to try it on. You know what I mean? Uh So people will say, oh, is this true to size? And I say, oh, it's true to size to my child, but (laughs) it may not be true to size to yours. So we do a lot of disclaimer in our, um, descriptions, in our descriptions. That should be like a known thing though. When you have a kid. Yeah. Like, Um, yeah. The sizes are kind of just, you just look at what fits. It varies. Like it doesn't really matter mm-hmm. yeah. as much. Yeah. Like before when we before we started this, I'd shop at like TJ Maxx and I'd get an outfit. Those ones was, are all funky. Yeah. They're so and I funky. Was like, this isn't gonna fit my kid for like six months. Yeah. And or they're like too small already. Yeah. Like the sizing is just funny. No. Yeah. Makes you question your kid. Yeah. <laughs> right. Like is something are you too no, big or too small? Like, Does this fit? Yeah. Manufacturing. So and then it's hard too because there's so many styles. So maybe one style fits true to size, but then another style may not fit true to size. So we'll have mm-hmm. to go through every style and, and think, okay, is this a true to size one? Yeah. Um, a lot of our stuff we do say like six to 12 months instead of just saying 12 months. Sure. Because then I feel if there's more. That's helpful. Range. Var- yeah, yeah. Range. Yeah. Then people are more like, okay, this could fit my 
seven month old or yeah. my eight month old, not just my six month old. So yeah, that's been kind of. So when did you guys start doing this? November, did, just November. Of yes. November. Oh wow. That's okay. when I texted her, mm-hmm. and we we it went Good for you guys. So it's fast. Like, like six like months in, in or what? something. Like she said, "Let's do it," and like within a week, we had our website up. And yeah. Done and nice. Dropping yeah. It Great. was, it, I'm surprised. Like I'm shocked we even did it that quick. Yeah. She's, she's a little more assertive when it comes to stuff like that. Just like, like business stuff. Like she, social she's, side, I'm like, Ooh, no thanks. But when yeah. it's business, I'm like, Hey, like get on it. Let's go. Let's do this faster. <laughs> mm-hmm. But I'm not that way. Cause a website takes like, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, did you do it yourself or how yeah, did we did? Nice job. We literally figured it out. Yeah. Um, the day we are supposed to be dropping our stuff, <laughs> we were like, we have no idea how to do this. So you were already announcing the drop. Did you have all your product? Did you have, how ready were you when you Not were? Not at okay. all. Okay. I felt, so you I just felt jumped we right were in. a little prepared. So <laughs> like we got, looking back on it, I feel like we would never, like looking now, I'm like, if we ever did that, it'd be like way worse. We, we were a little hot mess express to I was start gonna say, with. It sounds like you said you had it ordered and placed within four days of texting your sisters with yeah. for sure so that means you didn't get any samples before no. placing an order mm-hmm. <clears throat> we just went all in yeah. like we just said like okay this yeah this is what because usually try. a sample price is way higher than what they're gonna sell it to you for so say they're gonna sell it to us for sure. eight mm-hmm. a sample price is 30 dollars. Mm-hmm. was there like a moq or they do so a lot of them will be anywhere from 100 to What's the max? Like 300, like 500. 500. Mm-hmm. So we tried to find brands that would start with a minimum of a hundred. But we've never really had a problem buying from them. Like mm-hmm. sometimes the sizings are really bad, but yeah. that's it. So yeah. are you initially ordering like a size run? A size run like. Mm-hmm. Of like 2T, 3T, 4T. Yes. Yeah. And then we'll order maybe two of each, mm-hmm. three of each. Um. But yeah, at the beginning she, we, she's like, let's do our website. And we have a, a lady that we used to work for. We asked if we could meet with her because she does wholesale as well. Hmm. So we sat with her and she gave us all her tips with wholesale. She, she does the same, uh, website domain. So Shopify, okay. um, she gave us kind of all those tips. So we were like constantly texting her. Okay. How do you add this? <laughs> I don't know yeah. if you've like worked <laughs> with Shopify, but it's kind of a little bit. It's yeah. it's yeah. hard. Yeah. It's a hard thing they all seem to really figure it out. Technical and yeah. annoying. It's just like little <laughs> things that you wouldn't like I sat on tech support for like hours. <laughs> I'm like, okay, this isn't working, sir. I need your help. Literally. I'm though. supposed to be dropping in like 30 minutes. <laughs> She's like, let's You're like, well, maybe you shouldn't have waited till the day before to build yeah. your site. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, like, let's okay. drop okay. this <laughs> day. And our website's like not even ready but that's really how things have been going we've just been like let's go all in let's let's just go for it so i was curious with the boutique you said a lot of them that you found before your own were expensive yeah is that because they just put their own markup on it that's higher or is there a reason it's so expensive exactly so one company we found say we got their item for 50 dollars. it's a really high quality item they're marking it all the way up to 90 dollars Wow. And you can't get this. That's a big markup. For sure. So our average markup is anywhere from $3 to $7 right now. Yeah. Sometimes like. We started at like. Do you do a percentage or is it just kind of a dollar point that you kind of go for? Sometimes we, we don't want everything to be like, okay, like even though we bought this for say 15, like we don't want people to be paying like high 20s. 30. So yeah. we're like, okay, like even on this particular item, if we only make $5 each on them, like we just want to get. Okay. So For does sure. that cover shipping too? Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> I guess we need. It usually only yeah. costs like a dollar per item to yeah. ship. Yeah. So it's really not that much off. So usually make about $5 profit after yeah. shipping. Mm-hmm. But it's crazy because at the beginning we were doing a dollar or two markup and then we'd sell it and we were so excited. Like, <laughs> I was going to say, oh you're like God. paying That's them to buy your product. Yeah, it was crazy. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So on that question you had, and it's like, are you undervaluing valuing yourselves? Uh-huh. We feel that we are, but we also, our number one goal is that everyone should be able to have access to affordable clothing that's high quality. We didn't okay. want to make it super expensive, but we still feel like we're making enough to put more money into inventory. Okay. Um, we don't think we'll ever upcharge more than 10, 15. 
Unless like costs go up, I guess. But yeah, for sure. Then it's just yeah, you can't avoid it. So that was kind of our main goal from the very beginning. We didn't want to. We well, didn't want to mark we're up. We're always shopping for our daughters, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I have no money to buy clothes. Right. Mm -hmm. Um. Another thing we do is if someone really can't like afford it, if they really want something, we'll always give discounts out. Um, that's generous of you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're always like willing to give something out for free or if you really need it, you know, message us and we'll shoot you a discount. Like mm -hmm. we're not here to just make money off of you. And we really try and instill that in people because hmm. we don't feel it's really necessary. We don't, we don't really do it just for the money. It's, it's, we really believe everyone deserves this. So like supporting moms for yeah. sure. I'm like, it's hard to be a mom. It's hard to feel that you can't afford a nice outfit for your baby and everyone else can. It's, it's really discouraging sometimes. So we really wanted, you know, everyone to be able to have that. Yeah. So you're <laughs> primarily selling online. Yes. So we do have a small, what do you call it? A We're like a vendor in a store. Oh yeah. We're a sure. vendor in a store in Ricky. Like you have a section. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. um, we offer a local pickup in that store as well. Um, people can also go and shop, but we don't have a ton of, of variety there. Yeah, most of it's online. I see. Okay. Just because so, it's hard. I mean, we've only started a few months ago, so we're yeah. like, if we take this in the store, we can't offer it online just because we don't like constantly <laughs> mm, it's trying like to, out of that inventory. For yeah. sure. I see. So, so we've been kind of trying to navigate how to do yeah, both those at growing the same pains time. of how to do that mm -hmm. for sure. Which has been crazy. Like yeah. maybe seasonally you might have more stuff in store. If like there's a certain time of year people are yeah. buying more. Yeah. But. And it's it's crazy because we are still trying to figure it out. Yeah. So we're like, oh, we don't know. You know, <laughs> we're we're growing. We're mm -hmm. learning and figuring it out every day. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, are we even doing this right? Like, should we do this differently? But I'm like, I have no idea. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's hard because we would love like – we love advice and we love like seeking people's help, but mm -hmm. I'm like, who do we who go do we, to? Like, yeah, we don't really know a ton of people who are like in this kind of business. It's a unique yeah. avenue for sure. Yeah. Clothing, mm -hmm. wholesale. But also the way we do it because we had talked to for people sure. about who do retail and they're like, hey, you need to be marking up a hundred percent. For you sure. And we're like, up. and we looked at each other and I'm like, no matter like what people say, and even if this is awful, yeah. like, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, I just don't want to be marking up that much. I can't. Because it's yeah. a lot. Yeah. 100%. So the goal is to get the masses, to get more people buying this, not a select few of For a sure. market yeah. that just have And we money. feel that's why we've done sure. so well. And that's yeah. a good strategy. Yeah. And I mean. But that's also like when we look at it, we're not, not like, okay, are we making this much money? We're like, okay, are we selling inventory? Are we making connections? Are we helping people out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like we don't just look at it as okay, we've made this much money. For like, sure. Even in the end, if this business ends and we're like, okay, <laughs> we made like a thousand dollars. I'm like, who cares? You tried it. <laughs> yeah. You live tried and learn. It. And you if it does it. work, then you but created a great it's thing. It's still yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah. It's going great. Yeah. And so you're, where are your customers mainly, mainly from? Are they all over? The all United over. States? Yes. Great. You can kind of see it on Shopify. It shows everyone who shops. It's interesting. Oh, the map on there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's interesting. We actually got our first order or one of our first, not first order, our first order that was international from Germany. Cool. And That's we exciting. were freaking out. We were like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that took some... Some so out. then we have to figure Just out. Just ship it to them. Okay, yeah. how do we do the international <laughs> label? Three times shipping. It was it was pretty hard. But we've had <laughs> we do offer international, um, but we've only had one international yeah. sale. Yeah, but because we've never done it, and I'm like, okay, Give it how much could this cost? Yeah. So how much was it? Tell, take us on that journey. So how was it? I guessed. I'm like, there's no way international shipping will be that much. So I'm like, I'm gonna just say fifteen dollars. It costs us thirty five dollars. I was gonna say to fifteen is like regular shipping here now. <laughs> oh, I was, but I'm like, in my mind, I don't know why I thought that. So that she was does a, a lot of that. So that you had side to pay stuff. to ship them that order. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's an L yeah. for us. Yeah, you're figuring it out though. Yeah. It just happens. Yeah. It happens. 
Nobody ever like. I love that you sent it though. You didn't yeah. say no. That's her. That's you know? her attitude. That's my motto. I'm like, and I, I'm like, no, it can't we can't go bad send more this. than once. It's like what's um that company uh, Bomba? They give away. They sell like socks, underwear, and like yeah. t-shirts. Yeah. But they give away a pair for every pair they sell. Uh huh. And oh, that wow. on paper, MO. that like logically seems like you would just lose money. Yeah. For sure. But like they found a way to make it work, and they're huge now. Wow. So I mean. You just make the one product a little more expensive yeah. and then it's kind of covering the cost two of two. For one and then socks. it's like they're donating all this stuff to people in need. Like and for sure. Shelter. It's like, wow. a, like that. it's a good like motivator. Yeah. But, uh, That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Not to start say you should start giving away like, product. But, but it could be like a twist into your business. There's ways that it could work. And I, yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, I'm all about that. I'm all about giving. And she, she does the financial side. She's like, she'll Stop be like, giving. make sure you write that down. <laughs> make sure you write that down. Stop giving that away for free. And I'm like, come on, come on. Let's let's. It's get- a business. You don't worry about the money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's what they say. Yeah, <laughs> except she does. She does. Worry I'm like about it. on the inside. I'm shrinking. She's like, yeah, I give away these socks and this outfit, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, no. But also, I'm you very. You know, we're only marking up a little bit right, right now. Yep. Like, <laughs> we're like- not there yet. <laughs> I'm so social, and I love connecting. That I feel if they- I can give you an outfit or. I can do something for you that will maybe make your day a little bit better by a discount or a free mm-hmm. item that that's going to bring you back again because you sure. know, you know, I would yeah. do that for you. For mm-hmm. sure. And it's such a saturated market. You kind of have to yeah. like yeah. give your appetizers out a little bit. And yeah. yeah. And I do. Get people yeah, like excited. Win your, your market. So, <laughs> I do. So is that your main <laughs> MO? How do you keep your, um, your customers, your uh, so brand loyalty? I, I strive on just, connection like communicating i'll reach out to people as much as i can i'll comment on everyone's stuff specifically on social media for sure reach out um anytime i see a like a mom post like a five month you know their updated monthly thing i'll Mm -hmm. be like oh my gosh happy five months so cute Uh i'll always try and connect in any way i do Uh um is that with anybody or people have purchased um, anybody, anybody. Yes. Mm-hmm. but yes. more people. There's certain people who are like always buying from us. Then mm-hmm. you like feel like you have a connection. For sure, sure. Like, I kind of feel like I know you. Yeah, and I feel like I know you have a relationship yeah. now. And then they come to our craft fairs, or they, you know, comment on our stuff or follow our personal, and then it's kind of like, oh, we're friends now. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then we'll <laughs> we'll even give out more discounts for people who are very loyal to us. Um, I'll we'll give out like twenty five percent off, and then. Well, we Every also have reps. Yeah. We have, how mm. many do we have? A lot. 30. We have 30 oh, reps. 30 so, reps who rep our brand. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So our reps, we have a group chat and obviously it's always going. People are always talking. Yeah. And even like some of our reps are friends that okay. like <laughs> didn't know each other before. Yeah. So okay, it's kind of okay. just like a community. Our reps will be like, oh, like I love this brand. You should buy. So then their friends buy and it's kind of just like spider webbing and spiraling. Mm-hmm. For sure. Mm-hmm. And then you just feel like, oh, you know this person, I know this person, I love this person. Like, yeah, just connections form from other people and mm-hmm. everybody who buys from mm-hmm. you. So, how did you find your reps? How did you decide to take that like strategy? So, I saw someone else who did a rep, a rep search. They they also call them ambassadors, I mm-hmm. believe. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I like reps a little bit more. So we posted a rep, a rep photo on Instagram and we said, okay, we're looking for reps. These are the requirements. Mm -hmm. Um, these are the perks. So they get 15% off every purchase. Mm -hmm. They get a discount code they can share with all their friends and family, Mm -hmm. which the more people who use their code, they get, um, a bigger discount added onto their 15%. Okay. So every time their code is used, a 1% is added onto their 15%. Okay. So say five people use okay. their code, they get 20% off a yeah. purchase. Mm-hmm. Is um, that hard to keep track of? Yes. <laughs> I was going to say. Do you do that manually? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. I do. Because I've thought about yes, that for myself before and I'm like, I, I would just have to do it manually. Yeah. yeah. There's a way in Shopify I can go and type in each code and it will show all the people who've used it. So okay. then I go, okay, one, two, three, four, like, you know. Yeah. It's not so bad. And yeah. they, I don't think more than 10 people have used a single code. So yeah. it's not. It's really not. Per bad. rep per yeah. se. For sure. So do you think, has it been like <clears throat> lucrative and good yeah. to have these reps? It's I been think really it's helpful. been Our amazing. Our reps are also like, if we don't have boys. So we're like, we have sure. no idea yes. what boy mom's like. Oh, like okay. We are like, oh, I think this would be cute for a boy. But sometimes moms are like, oh, no. 
So okay. we you guys are like, both girl moms. Yes. yes. So yeah, I'm they, a girl mom. They give amazing feedback. Yeah. And mm-hmm. everyone's super honest with us, with which I love. Boy well, moms struggle with finding yeah. girls. Yes. So they'll tell us, oh, I, this is what we want. This is what we yeah. don't want. But they all have different styles, which yes. is nice too. So we can hear from like different types like, oh, we want this. We want this. Mm-hmm. So we yeah. can feel like we know more of each side. Yeah. And it's hard too because everyone has different styles. Even me and her have different styles. Sure. I'm a little bit more into color, but she hates color. Mm-hmm. I'm not a big fan. Um, it was funny because when we first started, I was like, we're not doing any patterns. We're just going to do like solids. And we found like this, <laughs> she found this like dinosaur. It was like a cute dinosaur. <laughs> anyway, she liked it and I hated it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, no way that is not, we are not selling that like that. I see it as it affects our brand. It's, yeah. Like you your know. image of yes. what you're And I was packaged. like, no way. It was just an embroidered dinosaur. It wasn't that big of <laughs> a deal. <laughs> so we posted on our stories. We love people's feedback. Like, oh, okay. do you really like this? Mm-hmm. So I put it on my story and I did a poll. Do you like this or do you hate it? And uh-huh. I think ninety percent of people said they liked it. Great. And I was like, we like, told you so. We don't sell it anymore though. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> but yeah, it's been it's been funny to see what people love and hate. Yeah. And I'm like shocked because even yesterday I posted something and I was like, oh, do you like this or do you hate it? And fifty percent said they hated it. And I was like, I thought people would Mixed love this. There. But she even sends yeah. it to me and she's like. <laughs> People don't like it. And I'm like, I don't like it. Like, what do you want me to tell you? Do you find that you'll like super invest in certain styles Mm -hmm. and then you're like, okay, that was not as much of a hit as I was thinking. Yes. Have you had those like learning curves already? Yeah. I feel like a lot of the times we don't jump into things really big. Okay. Not a ton. We'll do a hundred dollars of a style. So if each one's, uh, say $10. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like. Kind of a size run. Yeah. Just like, okay. Just that. Okay. Because so maybe there you uh, go. 12 month, 18 month, 2T, 3T, 4, you know. Yeah. Um, We'll only do about $100 and then we'll see how it does. But we kind of yeah, we kind of know what brands people like. We know what styles people like. We kind of, I feel that we're figuring that out a yeah. little mm-hmm. bit more. In the beginning, we definitely had a lot more flops where we're like, okay, that was not good. For sure. But now where we're like kind of figuring it out, I'm like, okay, I felt comfortable paying a couple thousand into this one style. Let's get Which it. is crazy. We spent how much on those shorts we just got manufactured? Thousands. Like that was like crazy to me. I was like- <laughs> To like do that big Are purchase. we sure? But that's like are what we? I do. So I like don't even tell her. I'm like, okay, this is happening. She that's does all the financial do. stuff. She's like, do we have the money? I'm like, we should. We will. <laughs> Put that's it on the, the credit card. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> So really things that she's like, that's insane. And I'm like, no, like this is how much it costs. It's crazy. Like we're just going to have to jump into it and go for it. Yeah. Cause it's like the investing <clears throat> in it and then reselling it versus yeah. like just creating a product. For sure. Air. Yeah. Yeah. And even in retail, like, okay, then it's extra money to add a tag and then, and then add a tag that hangs. Like you wouldn't even think about stuff you have to buy. Mm-hmm. But now knowing all this stuff. I went to Walmart the other day with my husband. I go, you know how much work is in every single product? You mm-hmm. don't realize how. Before yeah. it even gets there. Yeah. 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 You yeah. don't realize how much work ta- it takes to just tag an item or sew a tag on. like And keep track of it. And Oh my yeah. gosh. Mm-hmm. Or uh-huh. iron the item. or We don't make the item, but I can't even imagine having that added task yeah. on top of us like. It's, it's true. Crazy. Yeah. So what were your backgrounds before doing this? What made you get into this? What, are, what do so you So I do? have a degree in exercise. I got okay. my degree. I finished school when I was six months pregnant. Oh, man. And I always was like, I'm going to be a personal trainer. I love nutrition, all that stuff. And uh-huh. I that's what I wanted to be. I actually wanted to get my master's in as a reg- registered dietitian. Okay. That's kind of like a... It was a very far goal. Uh-huh. And then once I became a mom, I was just like, I don't want to, I don't want to be working nine to five. That's, I don't want to be away from my daughter that much. Literally. Um, she was working for my dad who owns a car dealership. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I also am getting my um, degree in business management. Okay. So I. Currently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When Which I got, was inspired by this or was that yeah, happening? So it was before. I was going to get my nursing degree, but I had taken a break off when I got married and I found out I was pregnant right after I got married. And I was like, I'm going to switch my degree. And my husband's like, no. I'm like, no, like, I'm going to do it. 
And he's like, what are you going to do? And I was like, I have no idea, but I feel like I need to switch. You said from nursing first? Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. Because I loved, I was a CNA since I was 17. Oh, wow. And I had done that for years. And I was like, that's my, like, that had always been my plan. Okay. So when I got married, I'm like, no, like, I need to switch. I need to do something else. So I started my business management degree. And then a week later, I found out I was pregnant. Mm -hmm. And then a year later, we started this. So yeah, nice. it kind of just worked out for me. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, I have no idea what I'm going to do with my degree, but I feel like it's going to work out in the end. I give you that kind of education for yeah. this. Yeah, for sure. Where it's are you guys a, going to school? I go to CEI right now. Okay, cool. And I graduated in Rexburg. Okay. But it's kind of nice, like with her degree, I'm like, okay, make sure you pay attention <laughs> so that can, <laughs> you know, benefit You're us. You're teaching both of us right yeah. now what and we I, need to do. I did take a few social media, like marketing classes mm -hmm. in college. So I kind of... That's good they offered that when you were in college. Yeah. That I, wasn't a thing when I was really? in college yet. Oh. It was blogging. Blogging. Oh, really? The OG. <laughs> of <laughs> social media. I, yeah. I remember when blogging yeah. was huge. Blogging. Yeah. That's crazy. I took yeah. a class at ISU and it was like the first degrees. class and they thought it was so ahead of its time. Mm -hmm. They're like, you're going to learn SEO and how to build your own blog. <laughs> and, and a website. You're pretty much always looking at like the the chef's blogs, you know, where like yeah. the recipes at the bottom, they have to scroll through. Pinterest. Oh my God. Pinterest recipes. recipes. Like that was the strategy at the time that I learned. Like make the longest blog possible Throw as many words in it as you can. Do they put your think info people the read it all? Skip. Well, to that's recipe. what they taught us. Yeah. Time. That was that's just all they knew. Had your Google ads I paid, for that. I paid crazy. For that class. I know, right? Ridiculous. Right? Times have changed. It's yeah, crazy. No, it really real. changed. For the best. <laughs> yeah. Um. So the class I took kind of helped me a little bit. Mm -hmm. I feel I have like more creativity and more like ideas when it comes to social media. I'm a little like particular about like the aesthetic and yeah. how things look and. She, she'll be like, okay, just hurry and make real in like two minutes. And I'm like, I'm the opposite. Like, <laughs> she's like, media. let me just hurry and like she make like a post. She is super passionate about it, but she like turns to me and she's like expecting me to return her passion for uh -huh. social media. <laughs> I'm like, I have no it's not idea. There. And I'll be like, like it's kind of like us a little bit, a little bit. I'll show him a real and he's like, Looks good. Post it. And I'm yeah. Like, well, it's because I trust you, <laughs> and you have good taste. Yeah. If it was yeah. someone who didn't, I would be all over that. Yeah, that's right. Like, let me let me see that real quick. So I know that she's so trust. particular that I'm like, <laughs> you know what you yeah. want. Yeah, you know what you want. You're asking me, but when I tell you, you're gonna tell me something you else. Don't care the so answer. So then I'll just agree with you. Yeah. But I I kind of agree with like your strat. I think it takes both. Mm -hmm. I think it needs someone who has that attention to detail because then you just look really stupid. If yeah. You post something that's just like. <laughs> Bad, Off. bad like habit. Person. But I feel like when you really overthink social media, then it just gets like, you just get bogged down. And if you're trying to run a business, like not that social media isn't For important, sure. but like yeah. focusing on that only, All like that'll just parts. weigh you down mm -hmm. yeah. and you're going to miss out on like so many other opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I think I it's good that you probably have that like. Oops. Yep. We balance each other. It's yeah. yeah. But she even she deleted Instagram off her phone, so yeah. she doesn't even just because I was getting, disconnected. Like something we haven't really figured out is the balance of it, and I'm the type of person like yeah. Once negative things are in my head, like it is so hard for them to go away. Yeah. So there were like constantly messages, and I'm like, hey, are you seeing this? Someone needs this. Someone needs. But they're not negative. No. They're just like no. tasks we have to do. Yeah. Sure. Or people we have just to mental attend. Load there would to be add like a few. You. There was rarely negative things. But like even just like I don't feel like anything says have been negative. Really? No. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. In her mind, they yeah. came off. It felt negative. a little attacking. So I'm just like <laughs> I'm like, no, it's just a person being customer service. Yeah, I've you been know, some just those type people. of things. No, I mean, from our experience in retail, people like don't hold yeah. back. No. Or they can be oh, no. super mean. They kind of forget that there's like a person there. They just yeah. view you mean. as like this transaction. But then also when we'll like say something back, like super kind, they're like they also get they stunned. Don't they're like, that uh, response. yeah, because we're we're super. I don't. I feel that we're super nice and easygoing, and we'll, we'll refund you like that. You yeah. know, you have any issue, we'll refund you or exchange hmm. you. Yeah, within or reasonable you things. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> but we. I think we have a good balance of like we don't allow people to like overstep us. I do. That's why I. Well, it's good. That's why. So yeah, <laughs> like that's step out. Yeah. your work life balance. Yeah. So you have deleted Instagram from your phone. So yeah, I kind of so like, mainly do, I do the social I've media. I've e people email. I'll do emails, mm -hmm. but social media is just her thing. And I just, if she has questions, she's like, I need you to talk to this person. Then I'm like, okay, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I had a hard time with like constant notifications on my phone. It'd be like 10 at night and people are like, are you restocking this? And I'm like, are you awake? <laughs> 
So then we'll have to talk to each other. So yeah. she's uh-huh. like, okay, you, you just do that by yeah. yourself. I'm like, mm-hmm. if you have a question, you can ask me because I do a lot of that. But other than that. Yeah. And but I'll, it's good, though, that you have the jobs like yeah. coordinated because yeah. for a second with us, we were like both responding to yeah. a message. I'm like, I responded to this. And Dan's like, I responded. And I'm like, you responded. I already responded. <laughs> like now her response like wouldn't show on my messages. phone in time and mine wouldn't show on hers. So like, like, come on, professionalism. Yeah. Same. I'm like, okay, we just need to del- worry. You have to delegate a little yeah. bit. Yeah. I feel like, can you respond or can you respond? There's obviously mix yeah. up sometimes. Yep, it happens. Yeah, it's been kind of nice. Because now that she is off Instagram, I'm like, okay, I, I'm in charge. It's not like, okay, who's going to see this first? Because then she, if she'll open a message, she would have to tell me, hey, I open this message, yeah. exactly. you go respond now. Yeah. Yep. So now I know, okay, mm-hmm. I'm doing all of Instagram. I will always respond to everyone. So if she doesn't message you back. <laughs> it's her fault. It's not me. <laughs> <laughs> so if you match her passion for social media, that means she has to match yours with the numbers. Yeah, she doesn't. So that's oh. where it's so until nice. that happens. I'm like, if you math. want me to do social media, how about you come to our tax meeting? Uh-huh. No. So <laughs> she'll be like, Canada. can you write down all the purchases? Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, no. Yeah. <laughs> Anything math? Yeah. So Out. no it's thank nice. you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're goes, like just barely starting to split things. Yeah. Yeah. But it's been good yeah. and healthy for us. Yeah. yeah. Before coming into all this, did you guys <laughs> talk like I mean, you're sisters. You don't want business yeah. to get in the way of family. Yeah. Do you guys talk about any kind we of barriers like you literally like wrote that down. Yeah. We wrote that down as like something that we have to like work through because mm-hmm. we're so opposite, like complete opposite. And we've been that way like our whole life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We Always. Just, we just really like butt heads. Everybody is worried sure, for us. Sisters. They're like, we're not yeah. going to let you two our, get along the least. Our parents are now. like, <laughs> our parents are like, this business isn't going to succeed. <laughs> Like, so it's mm. funny like we've really had to like figure each other out like yeah. even like communication style I'm very like aggressive and assertive and I'm like let's talk let's sit down and let's talk about the issue and she like I do she loves I'm to like, like do not disturb yeah <laughs> she loves to like run away and pretend it never happened and uh-huh. I'm like you can't do that yeah so. but it's good that you have like uh-huh. to equal each other out because yeah. you need that yeah yeah a lot you'll get fed up eventually That'll fade that like running away. Most of the time, I'm like, Kate, another year you'll like, be like extremely confrontational. Yeah. <laughs> she, or she's like, I need a break. And I'm like, okay. Yeah. But I, I, think- I rarely, actually, I do get confrontational sometimes and then I feel bad. I'm you like, regret that. Never mind. I'm like, my apologies. I think we kind of figured it out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Even to her, when she's like, I'm like, Kate, like, stop. You're being a lot. But I'm like, okay, sorry. <laughs> But I feel like we, I don't, I don't really like see us as business partners. I like, like we're sisters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're not, we're not super like formal with each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're always talking about business. Always. Always. You know, it's never. Our husbands are like, okay. I mean, oh yeah. They're like, okay, can you stop? Like, can we. Are they involved at all? Or are they They pack our stuff up when we have a craft show or. (laughs) But our husbands are very. Her husband's a farmer. My yeah. husband does HVAC. They're like the complete opposite. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, look how cute they this is. They could care less They're, about yeah. anything. They you're don't care. About. My husband's like, wow, that looks nice. I'm like, <laughs> that's why I don't ask. <laughs> so it's just like our husbands just stay out of it. Besides yeah. when we need their they, help, uh-huh. they help with the physical labor. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And sometimes the financial, my husband has part of his degree in like financial area. Mm-hmm. So he'll be like. That's not smart. Yeah. That's a good idea. That's not smart. And I'm like, okay. With that facial expression. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because when we started, we were so uh-huh. scared because I I don't have any income. I didn't have any income or like any s- savings to put into it. Yeah. But she was working at the time and I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, I got to ask my husband for money. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, uh, can I have like $200 to start a business? A small loan of a million yeah. dollars. I wish. That would have been nice. <laughs> yeah. If only. We started so small. Mm-hmm. Well, good for you. Yeah. yeah. So it shows like you can get started on a little oh, budget yeah, with and 200 make bucks. it work. Yeah. And then she put in 200 And then we were like, okay, should we put in another 300 And then we kind of like. What t- did you get on your first order? <laughs> Overalls. <laughs> Overalls. Um, those plaid. Those plaid jumpsuit? No, the no. We rompers. didn't get those. We got the the jumpsuits. jumpsuits. These hooded jumpsuits. They're actually okay. cute. Yeah, like art. It's completely changed what we sell. Yeah, but yeah, we just got overalls, jumpsuits, a lot of random stuff. Actually, did they all sell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did so well. 
Nice. Great. So like, people like from the get right. go. Yeah. People were really. Did you just order more overalls or did you start no. looking at different stuff? <laughs> yeah, just, that's actually one of our worst <laughs> habits. If people love something and it sells out, but we feel like we didn't get a love response from it, we're like, okay, next. That's, sure. that's kind of like hard for us because we find new styles. There's so many things you can choose yeah. from. So we're always like bringing in new stuff. Yeah. Which I feel like we kind of need to narrow down like, okay, this needs to be our set inventory. Um, yeah, yeah, like your go-to classic things that mm -hmm. you'll always But have. I also feel uh, something that sets us apart is we will always have new stuff. Like we're finding a new item and bringing it in every other week. You know, yeah. so people are like mm -hmm. on their toes like, oh, what are they going to do next? Yeah. Or what style are they going to have now? You know? Yeah. Do you have like a certain schedule of bringing in new items? No. no. <laughs> it's just whenever we send something like, look how cute this is. I'm like, yeah, let's buy it. Why not? <laughs> a lot of it's nice because like where we have such separate styles, what I like fits some people and what she likes fits some people. So a lot of it, like we never buy something that both of us hate. So yeah. 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 For sure. So you're like, there's someone out there who will want this. Someone's yeah. Gonna like this. And then yeah. we'll usually go to the reps and ask for what they, mm. what they like, or, mm. you know, kind of get their ideas or opinions mm -hmm. usually before we buy stuff. Cause they're like our most loyal customers. So we're like, okay, yeah, uh, it, do you feel like this is going to do well? Yeah. Do you guys want Only this? Only on styles that we're kind of unsure of. Yeah. Yeah. Not on everything. You don't yeah. consult them on everything. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. I like that you have the reps to like oh, yeah, they're directly amazing. bounce off of. Yeah. yeah. It's so nice. It's usually a lot of boy stuff yeah. for the reps. Like, yeah. So how else do you leverage your social media? Because you can get a lot of sales from social media, not oh, just yeah. directly in town. And that's, that's, I think that's why I'm so passionate about it is because uh, you marketing is so big. It's such a big thing. Mm -hmm. And if, if you don't anticipate the, the, a drop or, you know, say we're going to drop on Friday and like, okay, we have to make a reel on Monday. So people are getting excited. They're making mm -hmm. it a part of their schedule. I need to be a part of this drop. Yeah. And then I'll always make sure, okay, I'm going to post about this drop like five times. People know I'm dropping on Friday. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I think that's really important to like get that stuck in their heads. Totally. Um, and, but her attitude's very like, just post a reel the day of and say we're dropping tonight. <laughs> but I'm like, with marketing, I feel that you need to yeah. build yeah. that up. You need to get people excited. Totally. So I'll do everything I can to, you know, make a reel maybe three days in a row just about my drop. I'll show maybe okay. one day of items we're dropping and then I'll announce the drop mm -hmm. and then I'll do like... We'll, gi we'll give you early access to the drop. Yeah. So there's a lot of things that I feel. Or even just like a free thing. Yeah. Like a, a free item. One of our most our recent drop. things have been like early access and then like something for free. Like a giveaway. For sure. But like not really, but like it is a giveaway. Just like people who interact with us. Yeah. Like, okay. Or even. Or like a gift with purchase. Yeah. 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 Kind of if thing. even if someone mm -hmm. leaves a comment just on my reel, I'll, I'll choose a person and say, okay, you can have 25% off. Hmm. Thanks for commenting. So I think that makes people excited to engage with us that they, okay, there's a little bit yeah. incentive. Yeah. So sure. uh, have, sorry, go ahead. No, go, um, have you worried about like people only shopping your store when there are sales? If they're like more, if they're like learning that you're having these sales frequently. Mm -hmm. So we, we just only have done like once big sell. Mm -hmm. We've only done one. So I, f I think that people realize that we're not upcharging a lot. So I think they know they're really getting the best. They're okay buying they full price anything. when it yeah. is. Not yeah. And then I think they, they know, okay, if they're giving 25% off, it's pretty much what they paid for it. Like yeah. people are like, okay, we got to get it now. Yeah. Cause you're not customizing these items, right? Like they no. could find what you're selling on another site and clearly see that yours is $10. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And that's, that's what's also hard. Cause I like want to, well, that's great. Then. Mm -hmm. I like want to scream at people and be like, we're cheaper. You know? like, we yeah. are the cheapest ones. Yeah. Do you think yeah. people are like, what's the catch? Like what, like why? Yes. Like, maybe yeah. this is less yes. quality. Yeah. Like and we have people ask us like, why are you charging so low? Hmm. And I go, cause we're only making five, $10 and they're making $30. Yeah. Cause you only have a team of two to pay versus a team of 30. Exactly. And we're working alongside our kids. We don't pay for a babysitter. Our yeah. kids are usually playing in the living room while we're like trying to package an order. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things I think we do to limit the, what the Costs price we're spending. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're not doing a lot of driving because it's out of my um, apartment right now. Okay. So she'll drive to my apartment, which is about 
what, 30, 30 minute drive, mm-hmm. but that's only once or twice a week. Yeah. And then I'll try and do orders by myself. So I think there's a lot of like cost things that we do to try and make it the cheapest possible. Sure. You know, we could have a more prettier packaging, but we try and keep it super simple. Mm-hmm. Not to worry about problems you haven't run into yet, but have you thought about like, as you grow, if those costs come in that like you can't avoid like the better packaging or yes, I don't even know marketing costs, like for sure. Like, would you, have you found ways that you could keep that price point where it's at or will you have to like raise your prices eventually if you want to grow your business? I think one of our things we've been working on is even if we do have something that's a little bit more expensive, we'll always keep one or two styles or even a few that are like barely marked up. So even still, Kind of like kind of base collection. Yeah. 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 So if something's a little bit more expensive, it's a, if it's a higher quality, maybe we could make the margin a little more higher than this other yeah. item that's selling low. Or yeah. So it's kind of just that makes sense. Yeah. Just yeah. picking and choosing like, um, which one. Like shopping at H and M. Like yeah. if you buy like their like basic like outfit stuff, like usually pretty cheap. Yeah. yeah. But then once you get to like some of their more like pricey things, better looking like, like more unique outfit items, yeah. like For they, sure. they charge like a regular yeah. price. Yeah. But like if I want to go find like a white button up, like I know I can go there and just yes. they always have a base. Yeah. Like yeah. core look. For we cheap. even found like with our hats we've been selling, like we'll have to pay like how much for a box for the hat? Like a dollar fifty. So we'll add that into the costs of the hat as well. For the shipping. So, yes, mm-hmm. for sure. Okay. So that's kind of like yeah things here and there we'll have to add in. We mm-hmm. do um like stickers, but those are like 10 Super cents cheap. a sticker. Yeah. So we don't really add it in. We're just like whatever it can just Mm -hmm. be a part of the cost and then we just do like a plastic insert for the clothes Mm -hmm. so what we do right now is like pretty generic of what most people do super simple so that's also hard for me because i see when we order something in and it's this extravagant packaging and it's a whole like experience opening Mm -hmm. that and i'm Mm -hmm. like wow that's amazing but also we we aren't upcharging to do that you know yeah yeah (laughs) yeah but i still feel like it's nice to wear it's pleasing to look at yeah we make it pretty. We add like tissue paper in all of our local pickup borders. It's like funny how much that matters. But at the same time, when I myself get a package that's like excessive packaging, <laughs> I just wonder why. Yeah. You know, I'm like, I feel bad for like right? ordering this and now making yeah. this trash in the world. You know, yeah. Amazon now cardboard. just like you can choose. Yeah. Like to combine the packages. Yeah. yeah or even mm-hmm. like not have them packaged at all. Like mm-hmm. I wonder if people really? would care mm-hmm. less about that mm-hmm. going forward, knowing how much of it like impacts yeah. Yeah. the environmental the world. Yeah. side of it. For yeah. sure. It's like if you can simplify that. Then yeah. Like, less and waste. I, I feel like we do. Yeah. Like it's, we do use, it's like super, super basic. Simple. That's how you can sell it. You're um, <laughs> yeah. eco. Yeah. Eco friendly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we should add that. Plant your box, grow a tree. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Right? We should do that. Yeah. But it's crazy because I think people are really like, oh, why are you so cheap? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, we'll, I would t- be. we'll tell you. I would you. think something's up. Yeah. Like, is this a scam? Well, that's just like, should I mean, purchase? even if I, if I was shopping, I'm like, okay, this is super cheap. Like, why? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think our, we're just trying to get the word across because, like, that's our goal isn't to make the most amount of money. Sure. And I think you almost think if something's high quality, it needs to be expensive, but you can get, you can get a nice high quality item that isn't that expensive. It's just mm-hmm. because they're upcharging it. So you believe it's just the brand. It's, it's a, the brand, yeah, the it's marketing, the brand. They be- for the brand. Yeah. exactly. They mm-hmm. think that you need to pay that much mm-hmm. and you believe that you need to because of the marketing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's been yeah, kind of hard. Just navigating, navigating that. Yes, yeah. exactly. So these products that you're getting in, you would be allowed to like put your name, your tag on it, like yes. in addition to their tag or? No. How does that so, work? Just like a sales tag. Yeah. So right now mm. um, when we're. I see. When okay. we're, yes. Yeah. When we're buying from like someone, a, we gotcha. have to sell it as like, oh, we are now selling this product. So that's why we kind of went into manufacturing so we can add like, Our this brand. is baby. Mm-hmm. Like we made this. Yeah. Something that different. That makes sense. Yeah. Gotcha. It will have our tag on it. Mm-hmm. I was thinking like a literal like sewn on yeah. tag. Yeah. yeah. So we can't do that unless we manufacture them ourselves. Sure. Yeah. Which is what we've just And you're doing into. that now. Yeah. And nice. then a lot of those vendor or a lot of those vendors we get from on fair, you have to list them on a vend- as a vendor on your website. Yeah. Right. So they'll require you to say, oh, this is from this brand. Get all the credit. I mean, they, not all of them even have their tags on them. Yeah. Huh. So some of them don't even come with tags. So I'm like, yeah. I'm guessing we probably could remove them. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> but neither of us have a sewing machine to even sew on a tag. Yeah. That's more hours of labor. We'd yeah. love to yeah. do that and make everything have a tag. Get like, another sister on. You know, yeah. And- 
<laughs> they're like less. <laughs> what is it? I mean, they don't have kids, so they're not really like they don't it's really not the same. care. It doesn't yeah. hit the same. Yeah, their yeah. priorities are different. Yeah, hundred percent. They're like, oh, sorry, I can't do this. I'm going out with my friends. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, we've been searching for hours for vendors and products, like, <laughs> so it's just different. Like we have no, uh-huh. no lives outside of these things. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's funny so it's how it hard. consumes your life now yeah. once yes. you kind of get into it. Yeah. That means how many you vendors like it? did you look at before choosing the ones you go Oh with? my Too gosh. Many? Well, you'll Too look more? at product. For- we've only done that once before, looking at vendors for some basics, like sweatshirts yeah. and yes. t-shirts for merch. And- it starts to get discouraging. Yeah. Because yes. you're like, mm-hmm. like, I don't even know where to start. I yeah. don't think we could even count like hours. Though the second our kids looking. are asleep, we'll just look and look Did and look. Did you jump on calls with these people to like talk to any of them? No. Or was it just, just we like message. a chat, mm-hmm. a message? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't Never think calls. you can email them. It's this like is a really not much message. to talk about at the, bet, the point yeah. that you're at. Do you right want now. it? I'm or like, or okay, this is cute. Yeah. 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 Some brands are also like, do you want it? Do you not? Like, you decide. Oh, yeah. And that, one, that one manufacturer who was on like, and you're like, wow, they're really responding a lot. Like, it's making me nervous. Yeah. Because I think they want you to. They want yeah. to manif- manufacture for you. So they're yeah. like, okay, yeah. what size do you need? Okay, can it's you like, do this many? I'm like, now. I have a partner. I they're have very, to ask her. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's honestly a good way to kind of figure out what you need to figure out, though. Just call them, <laughs> yeah. let them ask you all these questions and be yeah. like, I don't know, but I'll yeah. figure that out and yeah. just go from there. And like, mm-hmm. yeah. But you do a lot of like the manufacturing side. Yeah. They're nice. They're always like super open. I'm like, I didn't even know. Like, we just got um, swimsuits made. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, they're shorts. Yeah, swim shorts. And they're like, you get to pick the inside mesh, the yeah. fabric. You get to pick the drawstring and how mm-hmm. long the drawstring is. Pick, I'm like, yeah, everything. I'm like, just choose one for us. <laughs> you know, we best? don't care. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. So like little things like that, we're just slowly or even, figuring out. Even on the, the label tag, you'll get to choose if it's white or cream mm-hmm. or black or what size you want mm-hmm. it to be. Yeah. Or if you wanted a hanging tag or a horizontal. Mm-hmm. I'm like, why is it? I'm sure you'll know like. By yeah. the end of the year, you'll be like, this is exactly what I want. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're still. Yeah. Deciding. Yeah. 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 So have you faced any challenges since getting this business going? Yeah. So I think like our main one was like our s- supply and demand. Like so many people wanted it, but we were selling out so quick. Great. Okay. So I think like that was super hard to like navigate. Yeah. Just constantly selling out. <laughs> yeah. And, it, and I you mean, were not taking pre-orders? We do. we do. We do now, which I feel like has helped so much. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, it will take a two weeks. So then we kind of feel it's bad. A whole like, other job. Are you yeah. willing to wait for that? People yeah. are like, why don't you have enough right now? <laughs> My kid's going to be a whole new size in two right? weeks. Yeah. 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 So it's figuring that out. It's been hard mm-hmm. because we're also like, we don't have the money yeah. to buy for sure every single style and thousands of dollars worth. Yeah. So. We're kind of just doing the best we can with inventory. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like, if you are loving the style, we can pre-order it any size you mm-hmm. want. Yeah. Every penny that we get goes back into inventory. Like we haven't kept a dime or like mm-hmm. put it in anything else. It's just gone straight back into inventory. So I'm like, okay, well, we don't have, you know, 5,000 to drop on or to hurry and buy this item, you know? Yeah. yeah. So really just, we did get a loaning from my dad and he's mm-hmm. like okay you can slowly pay this back but he's like i'm willing to like invest a little in your business which was like, really nice. yeah, it was great. so That's nice because yeah. we're like we both don't have money we don't come from money like at that we're time broke. before we had it like we would sell out all the time and we're just waiting and waiting for new stuff yes. to come yeah mm-hmm. and we're like we don't have anything but we also don't have the money to get things yeah which is like the most sure. frustrating thing when yeah. you have the will and the mindset yes. that you want to make it happen but yeah. you're like limited by yeah I'm Money. like, I wish we just mm-hmm. had a million dollars. Like, how could we? What it's like, even if it meant that? you didn't get to keep it, but it was going right? into your business, just being able to just run the business the yes. way it, like you want to run it, the way yes. it needs to be ran, mm-hmm. and not stress about the money. Yeah. 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 Money is like the huge, like just one mm-hmm. of the so things. so hard. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially because everything's coming always out of your pocket up front. Like, yeah. you guys always have to front that. And, yeah. And that's probably never going to get easy. Yeah. <laughs> it's just going to get harder and bigger, right? Yeah. yeah. We literally got a credit card well we both were trying to get a proof for a credit card because mm-hmm. i had never had a credit card ever never good for you and she <laughs> had but we were both trying to get approved and we only got approved for like three hundred dollars credit cards we've never had like my yeah. cars paid off like, like the credit, the credit sure. history is like zero so they're yeah. like you don't have enough Damn. credit history to even get something so we literally uh-huh. used no. her like our, have a credit card under her husband's name mm-hmm. and it's what like 
five thousand on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we'll use a little bit and then pay it off, you mm -hmm. know. Yeah. yeah. So that's hard. I'm like, we don't have like tens of thousands of dollars yeah. going to the into this business. We don't have like yet. Yeah. People think like yes. we're rich and we're just making all this money. I'm like, no. If you like mm -hmm. only knew the side of business, like how much is going back into right. the business. Yeah. Anytime you see someone with a product, you just kind of assume they're like making money on it, but yeah. you don't yeah. realize <laughs> everything that's like tied All into it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I'm like, well, maybe we're making a dollar and it's going right back into inventory. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just so. But even we started, we're like, okay, we're going to buy the cheapest thing first. And then like slowly we've gotten into more expensive things. So that it's also like harder to keep that much more inventory and in stock. Sure. Just all the money. If we going buy back it for $20. Yeah. I see. For I sure. See. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Last question for you is, do you have advice for anyone who's wanting to start their own business or yes. pursue a passion? Yes. I think go all in. Just okay. go okay. for it. We were raised that way. It's always just been kind of like go bigger, go home. But on the flip side, I don't think you need to go all in financially. You can start small. You can start with $100. You don't need to start with you know, tens of thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. And I think for us, that was like, okay, do we need $10,000 to start with? Which but I'm glad we didn't have in the beginning. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm glad what could we you started. have done with that? Yeah. 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 Forced you to be a little bit more creative. For yeah. sure. Start small, make an Instagram, you know, try to get your word out or your, your brand out to people, make connections. Mm -hmm. Um, another thing that I, I think that's been beneficial for us is we both grew up here. Mm -hmm. So we have so many connections already established that it's been sure. okay. But also like our age, like moms are having kids, like all of our friends are having kids yeah. and mm -hmm. all of our families having kids. So it's nice to the age range is getting so young to where moms mm -hmm. are having kids that we're like around here. Oh, I know yeah. you, you're having yeah. a kid. Like, <laughs> here, Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah. for sure. And that's, I think it's been like amazing for us because everybody, Business -wise. Yeah. yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You always sure. got new customers coming. Coming. Yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> like, oh, there's a friend. She's we having a baby. We always know someone who's pregnant. So yes. it's like, okay, yeah. Um, another piece of advice I I wrote down is don't listen to negativity or maybe people that you know don't think that's a good idea. Just kind of converse with yourself or yeah. with your, your partner. business partner. Okay, what's going to be best for us, and then maybe seek advice to someone who you trust or maybe another entrepreneur or who someone who could give you that advice. Mm -hmm. Um. I'm also like a big on advice. So I, I tell people all the time, I'm like, come to us, like, we'll help you even with like, kind of figure out a website. Like I'm always well or always willing to help someone in need or anyone that has a question. I'm like, I would love to like sit down and give you advice, which I'm like, we're not really like, I don't feel but that like qualified. The, there's but... been like new businesses who are like, okay, how do you do this? Yeah. And we're like, okay, like we had to figure it out on our For own. For sure. And it was really hard. Like we we're willing to help people got a few yeah. tips here yeah. to give you and we've Something had might not be insane yeah. tips but i'm like that would have helped us yeah. with like hours of work mm -hmm. if someone would have just been like okay like this is how you do this mm -hmm. or this is where you find this and we've even had like multiple people reach out and be like okay i want a list of your vendors i want to know how you started and it's funny because i'm like mm. okay well, well we, we get off <laughs> fair I bet you would like that yeah <laughs> <laughs> they want like like every single detail that too but yeah. I, I feel like i'm still like super nice and i'm like okay this is what you could do don't give them your vendor list oh i, I don't <laughs> okay. i don't okay. um but then i'm like okay here's like more the logistics like you gotta you gotta pay for your we'll give like the base information like this is what you have to do mm -hmm. some people want more they do want okay like the nitty-gritty yeah. of how you do this every day yeah. and like the little things and i'm like yeah, the literal details. Yeah, yeah. like of starting a business isn't necessarily hard, but there's a lot that you need to do. But don't be intimidated by the amount of work that comes with it. Mm -hmm. You know, sit down, do one thing at a time. Yeah. Do, okay, I'm going to get my seller's permit today. Okay, I'm going to make a website today. Okay, I'm going to make my Instagram today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And just like don't get overwhelmed by everything you have to do. Yeah. Because one you step will. at a time. <laughs> yeah. You'll make you you'll will. figure it out as you go. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like even now, if I in the in the beginning, I'm like, okay, well, like the things we're facing now. I'm like, if I, I would have known this when we would have started, I would have been so overwhelmed with it all. Yeah. It's funny how that right. happens. Yeah. yeah. There's something nice about being a little naive when you yeah. start a business. Just like <laughs> sure. just a little bit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like not enough that's gonna cost you big, but not break you from quitting. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. I was just quit. like, just, just in the middle. I'm like, okay, we know how much work it takes working for a small business. Mm -hmm. 
So we kind of had an idea, but then mm-hmm. like all the little details came in. For mm-hmm. sure. Stuff you don't even realize, like just even in the website, making sure you add all the colors or making sure you don't mess up on the spelling in the website, like yeah. just stuff you don't all think about, details. Mm-hmm. but don't, don't be overwhelmed by that. You mm-hmm. know, seek help, do one thing at a time, even if it overwhelms you. Um, I think like her kind of like kicking me in the butt was like what helped me a little bit. Cause she's like, okay. I want you to announce that the website's dropping Tuesday. We better have it done by. <laughs> now it's got to be done. It Tuesday. better be done by Tuesday. <laughs> but that's how I am. I will procrastinate until I need. Like it she to be wants done. that uh-huh. pressure so of like, it has to yeah. be done. Do tomorrow. Do tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. that is me. I'm yeah. like my assignment's <laughs> tomorrow on Saturday. I will start Saturday morning. <laughs> and so it will I have think to it's be done. yeah. It's one of those things for her that you know, it's due that day. We it has to be done that day. Yeah. So. <laughs> Even though you set the guideline yourself. Yeah, yeah we're exactly. Doing it. Yeah. I'm like, did I put this on myself? Yes, I did. I did. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm making it happen. <laughs> That's kind of how all of them advice? are. Though. Yeah. Not it's all besides. great advice, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not besides. I agree with like, all of it. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Good advice. another advice I have, a piece of advice I have is make connections. Mm-hmm. So I would when we very first started, I would reach out to every single person who followed us and I'd be like, oh my gosh, thanks for the follow. Our website's dropping soon. Every single person. And like from the very beginning, we maybe start with like, you know, very base followers, like you're Mm -hmm. at zero. Mm -hmm. So we get like maybe one a day and I was so excited and I literally send them a message, (laughs) you know, like I would build those connections from the get go, you know, Mm -hmm. but yeah, like realize what your customers relationships mean to you Mm -hmm. because like without our customers and our continual oh, yeah. like the people who keep coming back we mm-hmm. wouldn't have any support we wouldn't have any people have been amazing we're actually so blessed with like the community and like moms are amazing mm-hmm. and i just like have a deeper appreciation for like them and what they go through and just everything about that for sure um and also, just their like, willingness to lift you up and support you and encourage you. And they're always hyping us up. And mm-hmm. the amount of people who like share without us even asking or paying them, like all that stuff. They yeah. Just like, do build it. a community you love. Yeah. Like we love them. We literally love them. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I'm like, is it weird? I literally just tell them I love them. They're like, what? <laughs> I'm like, I love you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can I just get my order? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, someone's husband will come to pick up and we're like really passionate. And they're like. <laughs> I'm scared. Scared. Yeah. I'm just here for the order yeah but that's i think great, that's though, like for the support yeah it's important oh like gosh. find people even customers if you don't, don't know do that will. who will yeah mm-hmm. 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 make friends with customers you can keep it professional but also be friendly yeah. and we'll always we'll always look for ways to like help out like we said um, even like our reps, like if someone's newly po- postpartum or going through something, we'll like give a discount or send a free outfit or even like take them dinner. Cause a lot of them are local. That's so nice be like, you. can you go but take them dinner? We'll continually like reach out. Like we'll be like, okay, like, how are you doing? They're like, yeah. oh, like I'm actually having a really hard time. Like, yeah. Oh, wow. So it's a I good mean, open, honest conversation sure. that it's they're willing like to have We're able with you. to connect with people and help mm-hmm. people out through this. And yeah. that's like not only been good for the business, but also for ourselves and being able to help people out yeah. and then be like, okay, like, yeah, that like when you help other people, it makes you feel yeah. good. Yeah. And other will, other people are willing to support you more. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And yeah. I think people realize that we're not just a business you know Mm -hmm. we're humans we're moms like we're we want to connect with you we're not Mm -hmm. just like money business perfect like it's not we're very laid back and easygoing and just like a lot of it's just like for fun and we we wanted to build this community of women so Mm -hmm. i think that's kind of like our drive from the beginning build your community yes Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I think that's huge. So, where can people find you? What's your Instagram? What's your website? So, our Instagram is baby babies b a y v i e mm-hmm. babies b a b y s, and then our website is the same babybabies.com. Okay, we're also on Facebook. Um, I'm kind of figuring out TikTok right now. Mm-hmm. So, we we were on TikTok, but then I'm like, uh, I'll take a break from TikTok. <laughs> so much. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um. That's that's really Great. it. You okay. can also shop some of our stuff at the Indigo Market in Rigby. So okay, Indigo and Market in Rigby. Yeah, mm-hmm. okay. we we always have like we're at a lot of craft fairs. So I'm sure if you go to a craft fair, you'll probably see us. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Very Sounds cool. great. So make sure give them a follow. 
Yes. Buy some stuff. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming on our podcast <laughs> Thank today. You. It's so great to get to meet Thank you, you so guys. Thank you you. I could talk forever. Yeah, we could. It was great forever. hearing your story. Yeah. yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay, Thank that's you. it. <laughs> Bye, everyone. everyone. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>